Over to you, Yumna. Thank you, Linda. Today we have the pleasure to welcome in our studios Maya Zankul, a Lebanese author, visual artist, and blogger, mostly known for her sarcastic cartoons and comics published in her books and her popular webcomic blog, Amalgam. Her work has been exhibited in Lebanon and abroad, and after a recent visit to New York, Maya tried to answer the question, what makes New York a world city? And the answer came in this book. She selected 40 comparisons and decided to illustrate them and turn them into a book that shows that after all, these two cities, Beirut and New York, are somehow similar in the core. Welcome, Maya. Thanks for Thank being you. here. So, you know, the first thing I thought when I read this uh, was, yes, they are similar, but people don't talk about the similarities. They're both very cosmopolitan cities, Beirut and New York. But this is, in a way, an homage to Beirut because New York is a grand city and Beirut is underrated. Am exactly. I right? Exactly. It's so underrated. And when you think of New York, you think it's, it's a world city. You, f you can find anything you want. Anyone who goes there has a great time. But when you come back here, you, th you find that people are somewhat depressed and they're not happy with life here. But then if you think about it, there are so many similarities. So yeah. if we just change our perspective, we can start looking at Beirut differently and see that it has so much potential. What struck you the most? What, 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 at what moment did you think, okay, I need to do this because this is reminding me of Beirut, which is something not a lot of people would think about. Paris, London maybe, but Beirut? It's actually when I came back right. uh, from the vacation and I was not looking forward to go back to everyday life. You know, it was the first vacation I've taken in three years. And I wanted to convince myself that I shouldn't be so sad. There are nice things in Lebanon. And then I started thinking there are actually so many things that are close to the city that I'm just coming back from and where I had a great time. But maybe I never stopped to look at them this way. Right. Um, I'm, I'm going to tell people she compares Wall Street to Shere Al Masarif and as well the pretzel which is sold in a lot of carts in New York to the kayak which is sold on the streets of Beirut. So it's interesting because not a lot of people would see that. So what do you hope to do with this book? I'm hoping to, to shed light on Beirut and show that uh, it has so many positive things that mm. we don't see every day and for anyone uh, planning to travel here or to travel to New York to maybe go with fresh eyes and have a fresh perspective on things. Right, as well. You said this was your favorite book. I know you released three books. And it's funny because people criticize Beirut all the time. And you as well, in a lot of your cartoons, in a lot of your illustrations, I should say, you criticize Beirut, whether it's the waste management crisis or how dirty the beaches can be or the people. So, you know, from a critic to somebody who's finally praising Beirut. How do you, how do you could deal with both? This was like a break from, uh, from the criticism. And yeah. although I do criticize, I still love the city and I choose to live here and stay here and uh, make a living here because I love the city. But it was good to take a break and uh, look at things more uh, positively and look at the positive things. So, uh, so it was a nice uh, experience for me. And m mainly the illustrations I did them because I had a need to draw. Like I really enjoyed illustrating every single one of them. I want to I want to show our viewers a little bit about the illustrations. We have a little video for you, so you can get a sneak peek of what this book has. Uh, if we will play the video, and at the same time, I wanted to ask, what what do you what did you take from New York? What was that one moment where you thought, okay, this is a lovely city, and this is what I'm going to take with me? Was there like a moment that struck you? Because everybody that goes to New York is enchanted by how big it is and how grand and... Mainly it's just the, the energy. It's, it's hard to describe because just walking in the, st in the street you get inspired. The energy, the people, uh, you feel really alive there, which is again something that many people who come to Beirut feel as well. Right, because a lot of foreigners that come to Beirut say, well, we love the energy here. Yeah. We, you know, this is the Paris of the Middle East. This yeah. is a, a pearl here, um, even though there are a lot of problems. And I was, I was uh, talking with you before uh, the newscast about this, about you were hit last year four years ago. And since we've had so many different crises, you know, the waste management crisis, the Syrian refugee crisis, and yet you are like, no, I'm here. You created your company. We'll talk about this in a moment. And Beirut is my place. Yes, exactly. And uh, mainly, it's good to have success stories and show that you can succeed here. So many of my friends leave, and uh, right. I consider this kind of giving up. But if you stay and live the way you want, maybe you will shape the city to be the city you love. You created in 2013, co-founded, I should say, WeZank, the Explainer Video Studio. 
The team has been growing since. Weezang produced Lebanon's first animated web series in 2015, and it had a successful first season. Now they're going into the second season. Tell me a little bit about Weezang. Uh, Weezank is a, basically a company that helps other companies explain their ideas. So let's say if a startup has an idea or an established company has a new product they want to explain, we create a short one minute video that explains what this is or what it's about. Because people are tired of reading, so when they watch a short video they memorize, they understand in an easier way. So this is why there's a need for it. Is this, you know, you find that videos, and especially with social media, tend to be a lot more effective exactly. generally than, than reading. What has been the feedback so far? Other than, obviously, the success of the first season. Uh, for Beirut Plus TV, it was, it was great because uh, it was a satir an imaginary satirical TV station. So we would, uh, we would have weekly episodes mm -hmm. that talk about a hot topic in the country, but from a satirical point of view. So uh, the feedback was, was really great. What are you, you know, when you, you know, you, I know you grew up, you didn't grow up in Lebanon, you came back, and for somebody who's, you know, who, who definitely is not oblivious to the realities and how bad it can be sometimes, what is your advice when you are talking to people, the people that you say are leaving, the people that have no optimism when it comes to Lebanon? I think there's a trend about there's a negativity trend in Lebanon. It's like you're almost cool if you, if you talk badly about, uh, about the country and if you focus on the negative rather than the positive. So my advice would be to just do a little exercise and try to look at positive things because the more th you travel, the more you realize that we really have something good here that with a lot of potential. But of course, we need to work on it to achieve it. It's, it's funny. It's just like the, the pretzel and the kayak. It had, it, had to be, it had to take New York City for Beirut to be like, okay, this is as great as, a, as it, it's, it's as great as it is. Do you, um, when you talk to people in the States and you, people ask about Beirut a lot, what do you say to them? Especially when they say negative things, what do you say to them that are actually opposing Many views? The reactions I saw there about Beirut was either negativity or they didn't know about it. So I'm hoping this will help them understand uh, Beirut better or see it for what it is because it's a comparison to something they already know so uh, maybe they'll see a new image it's, of the city. It's a, it's a terrific book and I, and I personally like it because I just think that those two cities they're world cities and I, and I do feel that Beirut is a world city and it doesn't get enough, it doesn't get enough exposure as yeah. it is, right? Um, just so we can remind our viewers Maya Zankul will be signing these, this book tomorrow, no, not tomorrow, Thursday, October 20th, from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. Yes. at the Sursot Museum. Don't miss it. Make sure you come and get your copy and meet Maya as well. Thank you so much for being Thank here, you. Maya. And on that note, we go back to you, Linda.